blasphemous QR code spur sparks protests and vandalism in Pakistan. Protests began on July 1st after a Wi-Fi device was installed at Star City Mall in Karachi and a QR code on the billboard of the Samsung Mobile Company was declared blasphemous and insulting to the Prophet Muhammad by a group of believers. The mob burned the mall property, wrecked the electronics store, and some even attacked Samsung's staff. The Karachi police arrived and arrested 27 individuals who were employees of Samsung. Oh my God. Wait you a second. You can't make this up. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on, just a second. So they found the blasphemy in the QR code, right? Uh -huh. they found, what was it in the QR code that was I, blasphemous? Some sort of insult to Muhammad or his messengers. Okay, okay. They th okay, so they they saw in the patterns of the QR code, they saw blasphemy. And these insane people come and like remove the billboard and like attack the store and harass all these Samsung employees. And the police shows up and the people they arrest are the Samsung employees? Yes. For the crime of having a QR code that has a blasphemy in it? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh my God! Are you serious? This is a joke. This cannot be real. How, did you verify this? Did you okay, verify? No, it? I need to. I need to continue. The, okay. okay. The police, understanding the gravity of the situation, went further and switched off all the Wi-Fi devices in the mall. Samsung. Samsung Pakistan issued a statement saying, with reference to the recent developments in Karachi, Samsung Electronics stands firm on its stance that the company has the utmost respect for all religious sentiments and beliefs and holds the religion of Islam in utmost respect. And Samsung Islam, said that? Yes. Okay. They said well, that okay. they hold the religion of Islam in the utmost respect. In a okay. similar Im incident last de December, a Pakistani man alleged that PepsiCo had printed a QR code with the name of the Prophet Muhammad on its 7-Up bottles and threatened to burn down the truck driving the bottles. So, okay, this story is like, I don't even, I can't even deal. I can't, this is like, I don't even know how to get into this levels of... This I have I, like this. You, I, I, it makes me, yeah. I have the same reaction. Like this can't be real. Oh, that, look, that's look, the I, pictures on the seven up bottle. <laughs> okay. So look, look, this is the QR. So this, the, this is the truck that they attacked. I don't know how they found this. Like they were, they just going looking at the QR codes. Right. So this know. is, this was an earlier story. This is not the Samsung one. Like just for people to see how ridiculous this is. Look at the QR code. You see this part of it looks like Mohammed. This is like just accidentally. What? Yeah, this is this is Muhammad. Look, this is me. This is the hair. This is me. Then this looks like doll. I mean, it looks like a Frankenstein version of the word Muhammad. Oh like it's God. like a mutilated one, but it still roughly looks like Muhammad. But how is this blasphemy? It's just the prof. It's just Muhammad written Muhammad. It's not like. It doesn't say it's anything insulting against Muhammad. It's just the word Muhammad, even if it, you know, accident. Anyways, I don't know. How, I how guess to works. be sold and commodified or on something that you will throw away. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is so yeah. crazy. I like, how do you even talk about this? I don't even know. There's so many levels to unpack. Like the fact that they arrested the Samsung employees, that's one that's crazy the and and then the the samsung statement itself was crazy samsung had to sit come out and say that, that they hold the religion is, of islam in the utmost respect <laughs> like is this man is this front guy at the protest is he wearing a qr code on his head and you know as his, <laughs> no that's <laughs> like that's a stock image i know i know and okay <laughs> Um, okay, wow. They they actually uh, they they removed the bill. They attacked the billboard. Oh yeah, uh, there were people outside. Oh yeah, play this video. This is crazy. Okay, okay. Let me see if you have audio. Okay, now, tell me if you have audio. You have audio? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh 
Oh my god, they're moving on the billboard. It's like any over billboard. Over a QR code. Are you serious right now? <laughs> What are companies are gonna, gonna do? They're just gonna not have QR codes from now on in Pakistan? <laughs> any randomized gener pattern, you have to be careful because any if you have anything that is like if you're make if you're making carpets, if you're making QR codes, if you're making anything that revolves with complicated patterns, you have to be extremely careful because you have no idea how, what the, the chances of any of them looking like Allah or Muhammad is like you know is going to be a Put your life address. <laughs> but why? Okay, but they, would they burn one of these billboards? Like, if the billboard has a QR code on it, aren't you afraid of burning the name of? They Muhammad basically did it? burn one of these billboards. Okay, so okay, they burned the, and the billboard had a QR code on it. Okay, so, okay, I don't know if it was the billboard with the QR code that was burned, but I did see these signposts that were pulled down. Where was the QR code? Okay, here's the thing that's not very clear. Like, some sources kind of describe it as a billboard, and some sources describe it as a Wi-Fi device. So I think maybe it was some sort of billboard for Samsung that advertised a Wi-Fi device where it's like, maybe like, scan this QR code to log in or see the full offer. Mm. That kind of thing. That's kind of what I <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want to give up on Pakistan, but they're making it very difficult. Oh, this is the Samsung statement. Yeah. Um, okay, what is yeah, this Yeah, now video? people want to boycott Samsung. No, that's not, you, you can't do that. You have to break your, you know, every, every, every Pakistani Muslim, okay? If you have a Samsung, <laughs> if you are a true Muslim, you will record a video of yourself destroying your own property okay show how much you love the prophet if you don't like if you're committing blasphemy if you don't this you are taking the side of the devil you're the side of iblis your side of kof your side of blasphemy if you own a samsung in pakistan you have taken the side of the enemies of islam okay it's been very clear that the samsung is a company that is promoting blasphemy in pakistan they're trying to come at your religion they're trying to weaken your faith and you have to show your dedication to Islam and your love for the Prophet by showing every every single one of you, showing us that you're breaking your Samsung phones, okay? If you don't, you know, you have to pay for it in afterlife, okay? And other people should come. No, never mind. Look at this. They're like removing. Oh, my God. Describe oh my what we're watching. God. Yeah, the shop owner, you, you know, they're they're paying for this with their own... Livelihood, the shopkeeper mm -hmm. who thinks Samsung is removing his own Samsung product. Like, okay, just okay, just stay ported. I guess I don't know. Look, they're removing all the Samsung posters. Okay, sure. Sure. You know what? Enjoy your poverty. What is wrong? With you? Samsung owns like something around 23% of the handset market within Pakistan. So get out of the market, Samsung, like everybody, co major companies, get out of Pakistan. Look, this is how they treat you there. Like it's not worth it. Investors, Pakistan is not good for investment. Okay, look at this. And it's only going to get worse. Okay, pull your money out of Pakistan, put it in India, invest. Anybody who's invested in Pakistan, <laughs> invest it in India. Okay, take your money out of Pakistan, invest. <laughs> India is the future. Invest in India. It's so wild. Um, wait, we have some comments in the live chat I want to get to. Wait, Armin, look at what I sent you in the private chat. Yeah, um, no, no. We, we just have to say we don't know. Like, let's discuss the the issue. Yeah, I don't know how you want to. What I said in the private chat? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just making a joke to you. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Kenny is saying this is a new level of insane. And Forever Stormy had an idea. She said, can the next Blasphemous art commit commit blasphemy using a QR codes, please? Yeah. Damn, Armin, we need to print t-shirts with blasphemous QR codes. I'm going to get a mug printed with a blasphemous QR code. This is actually a really good idea, Stormy. Like, this is, you had, I need to write this down because she has the but vision. The she has yes. the vision. You know, the issue is that I want to make a, a blasphemous QR code that works. Like, you actually, but unfortunately. And it would take you to the blasphemousart.com website. But you can't do that because QR codes are generated like randomly. You can't decide the pattern. And I wish these people knew that. Like nobody can decide. Like no. the people who generate the QR code, they can't decide what it's look what it ends up looking like. Right. So if you actually make a QR code that has blasphemy in it, then the QR code would not work. So how do you do that? Hmm. hmm. We can figure something out. We can, we figure, can something figure something out. Something. Yeah. One thing that I think is, that's actually a very good point that it's randomly generated. So when you look at these QR codes, it's basically like a Rorschach test. And so <laughs> I don't know what it says that people are just like, look, it, you know, it, I mean, Rorschach tests are dis discredited, but the idea is that what you identify within an image that was randomly generated says more about you than the image itself. Right. So what is it? What does it say? So to speak, when you look at a randomly generated set of black and white squares and you see an insult to the prophet. Means you're the blasphemy is in your heart. The blasphemy <laughs> is you. You're the blasphemy. <laughs> oh my God. You should do that. <laughs> That's true. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. If you see blasphemy, then you're, you know, that says more about you than the QR code. Good point, Susie. Good point. We have to turn this back on them. Flip it on their head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, why are you saying blasphemy everywhere? Are you secretly thinking of blaspheming Muhammad? Huh? Uh, that's why you say, ah, that's why you see blasphemy everywhere. It's like you desire it. You desire blasphemy against Muhammad. That's why you see it everywhere. In the clouds. Okay, next, next, Pakistan is going to have to use this military to shoot at the clouds, okay? Because they're going to see Muhammad's name in the fucking in the cloud. <laughs> you know, that's the next step, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go against see, nature. When, when like, you see oh my God, these rock in the sky, like you, when, you, when you used to see, you know, the shape of the clouds in the shape of Allah's name, it used to be mm. seen as a miracle of Allah. Now it's blasphemy. Now that's a signal should, of blasphemy. <laughs> Stuzi, we should have a satire section, satire news on Atheist Republic websites, like, like the Onion, right? Uh-huh. So a serious news section and then a satire news section. And then we could have like, you know, news could be like Pakistan uses his military to shoot at the mountains because people noticed the name of Muhammad in the mountain. And now they're like attacking. There's a war. The snow the melted to reveal like a rock shape that looks like Allah's name. So now they got to shoot yeah. the mountain. Down. <laughs> now they got to shoot the mountain. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> We, but actually, yeah. that'd be a problem because they need to be shooting oh, a lot. Oxymoron was thinking the same thing. Go. No, but they're doing the same thing. Like they're like, I, know. They, I, I mean, I don't know. Like I, I think. By the way, to be fair, guys, I don't know if any of this is Islamic. I think I think these just be, these. I think these people are just like spun I mean, into this, radical absurdity. Yeah, I, I don't think they are making. I don't think they're making sense to like they don't. Nobody cares anymore. Like I just get. Just get angry. <laughs> like some something, something Muhammad. We're angry. Like, why? Like Muhammad something. I don't know. Like, just burn something now. Kill somebody. Burn something. We're angry. Like, we're just like, I think this is actually, you know what? I was joking, but I think that's what it is. Like, Pakistan is in such a bad situation, and people mm -hmm. are just like furious, regardless. And they're just trying to express that. Okay. So if you just you're just waiting for the next person to be just like. Blasphemy, yes, blasphemy, girl, like, yeah. like you know what I mean? Like, I just think they just so, they just need, they just everybody is just so pissed and so upset and so sad and so full of rage because it's a, it's almost a failed state now. I don't know. I mean, I'm, yeah. I don't want to say that because if it's an actual failed state, it will be the first failed state with a nuclear weapon. With we're in trouble. One, but yeah, we're in trouble. So, anyways, 
and this is bad okay I mean, I don't want India, I don't want Pakistan to fail, okay? Because I don't know who's going to be able to access these nukes if Pakistan fails, okay? But this is bad. This is horrible. I don't think Pakistan will fail. I don't think the United States would let it fail. That's why. By the way, this mm. is why, Susanna, you, your tax uh, money is going towards uh, Pakistan's army, okay? Because they have mm -hmm. nukes and the world cannot talk. Thank you, by the way. But guys, everybody here, thanks, Susie, okay? Because it's... <laughs> It's not my tax money that is going towards upholding Pakistan. It's not your tax money that is going to upholding Pakistan. Thank, say thank you to the Americans. You're welcome. No, thank, thank you, Susie, for not letting like, these nukes go into the hand of like just any random. The radical. TLP, the TTP. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So let's go to the next news. This is more Pakistani blasphemy drama, but this one is actually quite sad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This one. Okay. Look at the screen. Is it that one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, next news. <laughs> Wait, secular rarity is saying, who knew Susanna was pre preventing nuclear war? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, you too, secular rarity, all of us. You know, all of us Yanks, all of us Americans. Yeah. Oxymoron is saying, yeah. no, Pakistan will be fine. Yeah, I mean, te it, technically, I mean, it would be fine for the rest of the world. It's not fine for Pakistanis, okay? But it will be fine because of pe because of America, because of the United States. If if United States was not there, Pakistan would not be fine, to be honest. Um, I mean, right now, I, I'm not talking about what they did before, because technically they kind of ruined it, but now they're also keeping it anyways never mind uh atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues including judicial harassment and censorship whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight link in the description below 